Hi students, Professor Schimmel back with a brief discussion of the indole test. Now we are looking at the ability of microorganisms to ferment an amino acid called tryptophan. If they're able to do this, the main end product produced is called indole. Uh, so here's how you run the test. This is uh, triptone broth right here, very rich in tryptophan. And by the way, I am not using any live microorganism for this uh, part of the demonstration. Um, and I would um, aseptically retrieve a little sample from my original slant and I would um, um, flame the lip of the tube, of course. I'd go into the tube, swish my uh, loop full of organism in there, flame the lip of the tube again, replace the cap. Of course, I would flame my loop one last time, but I'm not using live bugs, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, these would incubate for the time specified in your lab manual. Uh, when you come back, what you would do is, of course, you'd have um, gloves and a coat on. You would remove the cap from the tube, not really uh, worried about contaminating um, the uh, experimental tube at this point because we're gonna boil it down when we're done. I uh, would require some COVAX solution. And I wanna add about a quarter inch layer of COVAX to the broth without touching the tip of the bottle to the tube. So I'm gonna hold it just above and the COVAX will float to the surface of the broth. Um, the reaction should occur pretty quickly. And if that COVAX layer uh, turns red, then that's a positive reaction. If it's um, brown or yellow or something else, although I don't know what that would be, that would be a negative reaction. And I will um, insert a photograph showing a positive and a negative reaction uh, for you guys. All right, once again, thanks for watching. More later.